Faith family. I'm David Turner. I'm a, fa a Connect Group leader here at First Baptist Church of Van Cleve. Welcome to today's Daily Connection. Today we are looking at 1 Samuel. We're going to look at, Sa at Psalms, 1 Chronicles, and just studying God's Word. I encourage you that if you do not have a good study Bible, that you will get a good study Bible that will allow you to read and understand more about what you are reading in these Psalms and in these historical chapters of God's Word. It's so important that we understand and we have a view of what's going on here. In, in 1 Samuel chapter 22, we see that Saul, the king, gets angry at David and he's chasing David. He's trying to catch the David, the next king. And in his anger, he kills the priest who had assisted, uh, unknowingly basically, had assisted David. They didn't know David was running from Saul. But he came through. They knew he was a, a supporter of the country, that he was important to the nation of Israel, and they assisted him, and later Saul had them killed. Then we see in chapter 23, David delivers Keilah, which is a part of the country. Uh, we have three psalms that we're looking at also, Psalms 57. Look at verse 1. Be gracious to me, O God. Be gracious to me. For my soul takes refuge in you. And in the shadow of your wings, I will take refuge until destruction passes by. If you were ever raised like me uh, around chickens and the, the, the mother hens when they had their little ones, if danger came near, those little ones would run to her and they would hide under her, under her wings, and she would protect them with her life. And that's the illustration that David is giving us here. And in the shadow of your wings, I will take refuge. And those little chickens could be very scary to a six or seven year old boy as she was protecting those young, even though this six or seven year old boy weighed 10 times more than she did. Still, she could be very frightening, believe me. Psalms 142, verse one and two. Again, David, I cry aloud with my voice to the Lord. I make supplication with my voice to the Lord. I pour out my complaint before him. I declare my trouble before him. This was a young man who had been anointed the next king of Israel. But the current king of Israel, a, a bad man, was seeking to kill him. Was doing all in his power to locate him and kill him. And yet David says here, I cry out to the Lord. David sought, sought strength. He sought comfort from God. That's the example he gives us. We look at Psalm 52, starting with verse 8. But as for me, I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the loving kindness of God forever and ever. Anytime you see that word in, in the Old Testament, loving kindness, that's a covenant word, a covenant word from God that promises God's love. And if you have God's love, what more do you need? And that's what David says here. I trust in the loving kindness of God forever and ever. I trust in the covenant that God has made to protect me, to care for me, to lead me. And then in verse 9, I will give you thanks forever because you have done it. And I will wait on your name 
for it is good. In the presence of your godly ones. I believe he's talking about us. We are the godly ones. We are the ones that have the Holy Spirit. We are the ones selected by God, elected by God. We are his chosen people through his son, Jesus Christ. Let us seek to tell the lost world the good news that the psalmist knew, that we know through God, through his Holy Spirit, the good news of Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Lord. Let us tell the lost world the good news of Jesus. 